Hello, this is Ultimate XXA, and today I'll be reviewing the Digivolving Lydramon figure, or Raydramon, I suppose, if you like the English version, as this is an English figure. And uh, I really don't have much to say. He does this, he does that. You probably roll over. Uh, he does pretty much nothing. He's meant to be viewed at from this angle, because the underside is rather pathetic looking. As you can see his white chin and stuff, and he has his eyes visible, which I find is a bit annoying. He has the uh, crest of friendship, which I believe is the same in both the English and Japanese versions. And uh, since he doesn't really do much in this form, let's transform him into the other. Now, to, in order to digivolve him, I suppose, I uh, remove these pieces without breaking them. It'll come off. But these are really stubborn. Okay, now that I got one off, the other should come a whole lot easier. Uh. See, not much to it. Next, pick this flap here, fold it back a bit just to make things easier. Go ahead and take the tail out, fully extend it. Now oh, he's starting to look a uh, bit more transformed. Pull this back. And prepare to have fun as you rip the head out. I just love doing that. Next, take his feet, fold them out. Rather, his legs. They're rather tightly positioned in there. And the feet have a tendency of coming off. So you need to be careful. And shove that on. Take this. And you need to extend his legs. Otherwise, he looks super short. So the way he's designed anyway, I suppose you can call him Hot Dog Mon if you really wanted to. I know there's a Hamburger Mon, which I really think is completely stupid, as it only showed up in Frontier, but hey, I don't design Digimon. Boy, if I did, they'd be a whole lot um, more weaponized. But then again, I think their design's pretty good as it is. <sighs> now that he's got really skinny legs, uh, Put his body back together. Now to uh, digivolve the head, which is the easiest thing to do. Take these horns, or actually uh, they might be ears in this form. Next, fold this blue piece up like this. Cause this to snap together. And those horn ears aren't going anywhere. Now I just stick it on. You see these uh, two clips. One goes here, one goes here. Let's attach it. There we go. Now he has a head. Good for a red drum on my drum. Whatever he is, drum. Ah. Pretty cool that he's a drum on. Next, shut the tail up. Put the white flap back up. I don't know why. I suppose he can have a rear if he wants. And attach these side guard pieces to his legs. They go in the uh, little holes right there. And see. One, two, and those add to his support quite a bit. Next, attach the back ones. It can be a bit difficult to see, but yeah, I'll do my best. Okay, interesting story about this guy. When I got him, I, I was really excited, and then I opened up the box, and it's like, oh, what did I just order? A smoked wiener? This guy smelled like smoke, and he stunk like crazy, so I had to soak him in a sink for about three hours and scrub him like crazy to finally get all the smoke off. So you need to be careful. When someone says that they're, it's coming from a smoke-free home, don't believe them. They smoked. Somehow, they will smoke just to annoy you. So, enough of my uh, personal life. This figure has pretty good articulation. Its knees bend a bit too much, I suppose, if you can even call them knees. Um, it really is not meant to have that mobility there. It's just meant to go move like this, I suppose. Balancing it's fairly simple. Posing it's fairly simple. You just leave it like this. That's about all it does. Looks kind of awesome from the front. I suppose it could be a bit longer as this is a bit cramped. 
but it has some attention to detail and the t tail is pretty cool. It looks like it could actually wag and he could come up to your feet and start barking. He's like, arr, arr, arr. but his mouth does not move. And other than that, he's a pretty good figure. I'd rank him four out of five stars, really. On a scale of nine to 10, I'd give him a seven. But as you can see, uh, being him four out of five, so he's somewhere around in there. But he's a pretty good figure. He's a bit overpriced at times, but if you look around for him, you're sure to find him eventually. So, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want. See you later.